Amber. Yeah. yeah, just a little bit cooler, but take a look. This is not our sunset. This is actually the sunset, a live shot in Panama City, Florida, where Hurricane Michael currently 295 miles away from the shoreline. So take a look. It is just it's what we call that golden hour, right? As the sun is slowly going down. So it looks nice, but they're expecting this major hurricane to make landfall by the time we head into tomorrow afternoon. Currently a category three, and it is spinning in the Gulf of Mexico. It is continuing to stay. It looks like it will stay a category three once it makes landfall and then slowly start to weaken because it doesn't have that warm ocean water to help fuel it. Currently wind speed is about 120 miles per hour. You can see it is beelining straight toward Panama City as we head into about 1 p.m. tomorrow Eastern Standard uh, Time for Wednesday and then it looks like by the time it makes its way to Georgia it will be a low pressure system with wind speeds uh, or tropical storm that is at about 70 miles per hour and then it's making its way over to South Carolina by the time we head into Thursday. Not good news for the Carolinas because they're still dealing with Hurricane Florence. So here's a look at the spaghetti plots. These are just the forecasted track of where we think Michael will head to. Most of them are saying that it's going to head toward Panama City and then we have a couple of these other spaghetti plots veering a little bit more to the west of the panhandle. So that's something we'll continue to watch, but here's a look ahead of this hurricane. We have hurricane warnings, we have tropical storm warnings, and we have a lot of other things, hurricane watches as well for three different states. But back here in Southern California, we are dealing with very quiet conditions, not a lot really to talk about other than slightly cooler than normal temperatures. Today, 71 out the door for the beaches, 78 for the Inland Empire, but we also have these big waves starting to pick up because of Hurricane Sergio out in the Pacific. So it's not going to make landfall to us, but it is going to generate bigger than normal waves as it makes its way over to Baja, Mexico. It's probably going to bring a lot more of that tropical moisture over to the southwest. We thought we were probably going to get a little bit more of that moisture by the end of the week. So that's something we'll continue to watch. But tomorrow's highs will once again remain below average, a mix of 70s and also low 80s. And then by the time we head into the weekend, we slowly start to warm up, but still stay slightly below average. Back to you.